And I'm Avon. And I'm Sonia. And today we're dishing with you from Cure Bar and Bistro. It's located in the Grand Hyatt Hotel at 1000 H Street Northwest. And the chef has prepared some pretty darn amazing things. I, I put that one all the way over on the other side. So for you wouldn't me, touch it? The bacon, egg, and cheese cornbread because it's like the most perfect southern just amazingness over it there. It smells but so good. Doesn't it? It does. And I'm going to, I'll trade you this one right here because <laughs> this is the um, the shrimp yumminess. Um, it's it's baked shrimp and it, it's just so good. Like I, and yeah, it's like all the things that you love. This chicken pot pie. Look at this chicken pot pie. It's an old fashioned chicken pot pie. It's actually pretty, it smells amazing. It reminds me when I was a kid, if you see chicken pot pies mm. growing up, uh, not, not like the, not like this kind, mm. but the kind we had was like the kind of the, the foil. So this is actually the kind of the foil. Yeah, it was like a small oh, yeah, yeah. chicken pot so pie. Good. pie. Yeah. Well, everyone here in the Grand Hyatt <laughs> is enjoying it, and you can be enjoying it too. And our guest today is Natalie Cartner. She is the artist, the founder of Dogography. It's sort of like a fun word to say. Tell us what Dogography is, if people can't figure it out from the title. <laughs> well, it's actually not all dogs, believe it or not. Um, I started painting dogs in 2006, and it was just sort of um, on a whim. And it was uh, something that I just felt like doing one day. I was like, okay, hey, this looks like a fun idea. And I was playing with a photo and um, just decided to make it into a painting. And because you have dogs, because you love dogs, because you... You know, I love dogs and I've, I've always been around animals and pets and um, my parents have a dog. I had a dog um, a while ago and they're just so happy. And so I just felt like it was something that would make other people happy. You know, we joke on television that if you want to get somebody's attention, you put a baby or a dog That's true. in the picture. And you figured that's, me out. You have figured out a way to get everybody to look at your paintings. <laughs> well, your your style is. You, I guess there's sort of two styles. There's that's right. there's like the black and white right, sort of like splotchy thing. Modern. It kind of looks like a fingerprint, I guess. If you look Ooh. at it um, from far away, it's like black and white. Um, so it's just black paint on white white canvas. And then the other style is. Um, straight up color, full color oils. So they're completely different. I like how she says like, I got up one day and I thought I would just paint something. Like yeah, I feel that all the time, okay. but like, I'm <laughs> like, here's a, a crap. stick paint. Yeah, exactly. Well, the thing is though, it's, it's funny because initially when I s heard the name, I, I assumed that it was about uh, it was photography, dogs and photography, I'm, I'm smart. And I put the two together and dogography. So how did you decide to do go with paintings versus any other form of medium for to show your art? Well, actually I started out with photography. Um, I went to art school. Ooh, <laughs> that's right. I went to Savannah Brilliant. College of Art and Design. And I studied lots of different things when I was there, and costume design and photography and all sorts of things. Um, and I really loved photography so much, but I wanted to do something totally different um, that I had never seen before. And so I actually work with photographs, and um, I use the photographs to manipulate them into what I want them to look at, and then paint them. Um, I digitally manipulate them, and then paint them. So what's your what's your idea, um, or how do you get your your, your idea to manipulate the, the photographs? So I mean, because one day it will change from the next. So trying to steal my secrets. No, I, I actually, we're, we're trying. Not. Yes, we are trying to steal. We them. could oh, never, never steal that. them. We could never. We'd I be like, people would be like, "That's a dog." Figures, but you've uh, also been very successful in in matching it with some charitable efforts that you're working on. So, how do you use your creativity and your artistry to help out in your local community? Well, it all started out. Actually, I have to give props to Christina Robertson of uh, Martha Square Bakery because she started me out on this whole exciting adventure. She um, she let me hang my work in her store and from there the um, Animal Welfare League of Alexandria saw my work and I started um, speaking with them and they hung my painting in the shelter and then I started doing charity events with them so my work was in their auctions um, several times and uh, from there I just sort of started talking to, to different groups and um, saying hey let me put my work in your in your auctions or your events and um, I'm happy to donate for I mean it's a range of different things um, from the Capital City Ball to, to animal charity. So. Now why do you think that everybody should have a painting or a photograph of a dog in their home, whether they own a dog or not, why do you think they should have one of these in their house? Well, I don't only paint dogs, but... <laughs> gotcha. turtle, your turtle painting. Your ferret, whatever. <laughs> um, you know, it, Salamander. I think that having a beautiful piece of art is, is awesome, but having something that's really meaningful to you and having a connection with that piece is, is really special. And it's something that if the whole family has known the animal or 
or whatever it is, a boat that you want painted or something, they can really connect with it and it can be handed down, you know, through your family and it's and it's super special that way. People want to own pieces of art. So is this a good way to, to sort of start a collection by commissioning your own piece of art or or should people sort of go out and find something that already exists and buy it? What would you recommend as an artiste? You know that <laughs> um, most artists will actually work with you on what style you're looking for and I, I'm really adaptable to what the client is looking for and so it is a really great way to start your collection. Um, it's uh, on a more uh, reasonable price range than you know going out and, and getting the to Picasso. A or doing <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and you know, and it's something that you can actually have a hand in creating. So definitely a good way to start. So if people want to get a taste for your art and they haven't seen it, you know, at a, whatever charity function you're helping or or at the Animal Welfare League, they can look at your website. You That's have right. a, a I website. Have a few websites actually. <laughs> I have um, if you search on Facebook, Dogography Painting. I have. Have, um, a whole bunch of my work goes on there and actually uh, show my work as I'm painting it. I post photos as I go so you can actually follow along. That's, That's what really you would cool. love. Yeah. 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 You would love that. I like the progress. Um, so cool. And then dogography.net. So that one doesn't get updated as much. <laughs> you're gonna have to update. You mean it you now. don't have time when you're doing all of this painting <laughs> to continue? Painting. Facebook is so easy to go live and to show it as I go. So I have lots of fans on Facebook, and I'm very grateful for everybody who has supported my page there. So it's it's a wonderful area to be an artist in. It really is. Well, it sounds like you're doing great things, and we love your work. So Thank thanks you. so much for being on thanks with for us. Thanks me. I'm so excited. Dogography. So you heard about it here first, and. Apparently she'll commission a painting for you too. Absolutely. Dogs, you and your dog? salamanders, oh, right? Lamb and I in like a high back chair <laughs> with bullshit. monocles. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Remember you can always follow us on Twitter at the District Dish or be our fan on Facebook. We'll see you here next time.